so how it work is suppose if i am selecting a value from our drop down which is like offline marketing so you can see based on my selection the graph has been updated and it also has updated the values like which is offline marketing and similarly if i am changing or selecting a value from this particular drop down which is like online marketing so you can see it also has updated the value and the, also it has updated the graph hi everyone welcome to excel dose in today's video i will show you how to create a beautiful dynamic graph in google sheet so let's get started with the video so as you can see i have a one row data in column k to column n which is like a business data month overall budget online marketing and offline marketing budget first thing is what we have to do is we have to create a drop down for the drop down what we have to do is suppose if i have to create a drop down here i have to select the particular cell then click on insert then click on drop down right and then from this particular uh, criteria you have to select the drop down from a range and here we have to select the range so range will be this particular value headers right overall budget online marketing or offline marketing and then click on ok and then click on done and once it is done you will see the particular drop down has been created and it's showing the all the values which we need to select right in the similar we have to we have to create a another drop down and we have to use the same method right once that is done we have to use one of the formula or the cell reference which is like if a3 equal to overall budget then it should be l l is nothing actually just a header or the column reference right so if overall budget has been selected then it should show as a l right in the similar way if a3 is selected as online marketing then it should show as a m and then similarly a3 equal to offline marketing then n right and the similar way you have to do here also the same formula but the cell reference will be b3 instead of a3 right and then we have to use here the query function which is like query then k2 to n2 which is like the this particular raw data right and then we have to use the select k k is nothing actually this particular cell so that we are getting the only those values which are selected from the particular drop down so how it work is suppose if i'm changing here let me just close this one so if i'm changing here to overall budget so you can see in the column j we are getting the overall budget and if i'm changing here to the offline budget so based on that i'm getting the value so once this particular data is created then we have to create a graph so for the graph we have to select the data then click on insert and then click on chart and then the line chart and then you can select the axis as a month and uh, you can select it as a aggregated and based on your selection you can start updating your graph so if you want to use my graph or the particular this data set so i have mentioned the link in the video description you can use this directly so this is how you can create a dynamic graph in excel i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to excel dose thank you so much for watching